also see in that picture is that my hair seemed a little bit just maybe just a little is that my hair seemed a little bit just maybe just a little bit more silver like well, I mean my hair is pretty silver I mean it is but you can see the, bar the black mixed in there but what you can see in that is that the hair is just a little bit more silver and that is because what I bought to help um, my updo styles because that's the category we're in now or we did the natural styles the just get up and go type of styles and then there's the braid um and then there's the crochet braids and then now it's all about the updos now these are when i'm, I'm doing these when there's more special occasion when i'm going somewhere specific um that maybe i want to pop just a little bit more so um what you'll what i found was um the this hair coloring um gel uh, and i bought it on amazon about 20 bucks um but it's called Halle care uh hair coloring material and what i did was because it's a gel i used this to gel up my hair so it's silver. I'm sorry, I kept the um, it's silver, looks like this, and I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It's hair coloring gel. So I use this on my updo to make it pop even more. So it was two in one, it was gel and a coloring. So there were times when I would use a um, I would use a hair piece that. You know, it the hairpiece was probably just a, just a little bit more silverish, and I wanted to do that updo. Use that, and that's what you're seeing in some of these um, in some of these pictures. That's giving me that uh, giving that effect. Um, so I use that hair uh, for an updo, and I also found the ponytail I wanted. I searched so long for this ponytail and uh, you'll see that I've worn that uh, and how I styled it. I just, it was simple. It was just simple pull up, pull my hair back and used my gel and put this on. And it's just a simple drawstring ponytail. But it was like trying to get to the moon to find a gray ponytail like this you know that i could style however i want to style because i can curl this what have you and again this one amazon it's called foxy silver um that's it eight resistant fiber ponytail so it's not, um, it's not, um, it's synthetic, um, but it, you can curl, right? So Amazon, um, Amazon has been my friend for, because as I've mentioned in previous videos with gray hair, if you are someone that likes to wear hair pieces, you can't just walk into any hair store and get them. It's, it's, it's just not, it's just not there. Very, very limited um very very limited um options for walking into the store so um that that part of it it makes it difficult when you do you know you want to be able to have things at your fingertips so when you are going to dress up and you want to make a style you can easily just um put that style together um i also in my earlier video mentioned wigs. So this was a wig that I bought early on. Um, it was, I mentioned it in my um, 
video where I was having the trouble matching everything. I hadn't worn it at that time, I don't think. But of course, since then I've worn her. Um, and this is what I pull out when um, I have not gone to the hairdresser and I am have to go somewhere and I need to get it. I need to get a look. I, this is what she she is for now. So um, yeah, I'll show you pictures where I've worn her. Uh, there's different ways that I've worn her um, just to get a different look or a different effect. But keeping her, she has been so helpful. Um, and for updo, also um, I have a few pics of me doing updos and this is the hair I've used and I, I apologize I have to show you because this is the original one that I bought and I have yet to find this again and all it is it's just you know it's just the braiding hair and it's like it's every which way because I've used it so many times I've cut it I've done so many things with it but it has been so handy when I if my hair isn't done um, like meaning it's a little stale um, haven't been to the hairdresser and it's a little stale um, I can still do styles with this and go somewhere go out to dinner or what have you this is so helpful because I can position it in a way I can pin it up on my hair in a way that it falls forward and sort of covers my edges it's it's really been handy and I'm really hoping I can find this one again somewhere. This one I did walk into the hair store and get and I have not been able to walk into the hair store and get it again since. So still holding out that I'll be able to find that. I've been looking online but I don't remember recall what the name of this hair was um, but it has it has just filled in so many times that I, I can't even count. And you'll see the pictures. I mean, some of these pictures I had not. Um, I I just put some gel and just tried my best and kept it moving. Um, other than that, um, I have some others that I haven't tried yet. So wanting to... Um, do a weave style now a weave style meaning now I bought this online so I think it might might end up being another might end up being another faux pas on my part but I'm gonna see how it goes because the hair texture is not really what I was looking for it's like very very straight I'm more of um, this kind of hair texture which is similar to what my ponytail that I just showed you that kind of hair texture it sort of matches my hair texture more um, so I was hoping for that with this these are clip-ins you know they came um, with the clips so that um, you know you can clip the hair in and make whatever style it is that you're willing to make but as you can see this does not match my hair texture it's um, very straight. So I'm still trying to figure out, and not just the hair texture, the hair color. Like this is just a flat, flat gray. Um, so I think I messed up on this one as well. Um, I don't know how to, how to salvage it. I'm hoping that I can find a way to salvage it. Um, if I do, I'll let you know. Um, but this is what you get sometimes when you have to resort to buying online um, because you're not going to sort of see um, the hair, hold the hair, and know the texture before um, before you buy. So um, that's this one, um, and I'll just have to see see where I go with this one. I'll let you know how that goes. So also bought online. Then got this one on. Um, I haven't worn her yet either. Got this one on Amazon. Um, and at first, out of, and this is probably why I haven't worn her yet, because at first out of the bag, she looks so dark. 
Look, look how dark that is. So, but I want this very bad because it is one of the headband wigs and I've not been able to find one in gray and Amazon was the only place I could go to find one and I want it so bad so I said I'm going to um sorry it's stuck in my um so I said I'm going to find a way to make this work <laughs> I'm gonna find a way it's a lot darker than my own hair so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to use this to somehow lighten this up it, mainly where it meets with my hair here if I can maybe we'll just use the gel and lighten this up a bit and just put some streaks of it through here maybe I'll be able to so, I mean, that's how it's always been for me, whether I've had gray or black hair, you know, sometimes I just buy um, a hair piece or I buy a wig that for whatever reason, it doesn't quite work, but I do what I need to do to make it work, right? So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try it and see, um, see what I can do to, um, to make this work because yeah, they're... I saw other headband, but they were platinum, and I do not want, um, I don't want it in a platinum color. I want it in a gray. So I'm going to see how, I'm going to see how, um, how that works out. So other than that, um, it has been going good, as you've heard from my other videos. I'm enjoying uh, the process. I am I'm making the best of the process um, because the alternative is to go back to coloring and I'm not willing to do that. I'm not willing to, um, to suffer through all that I've got to do to keep on top of hair color. It's just too much. So, um, this is where I am. And uh, these are the styles that I've used. Um, I hope that uh, these styles have given you some type of inspiration. Um, if you're going through your journey and you know, you're wondering, or if you're even trying to consider, should I do it? Should I stop it? Like what is out there for me if I stop this? Do your research first, like learn from my um, mistakes, <laughs> which is what this is all about. This is why I'm showing you guys this stuff. Learn from my mistakes, right? Do your research. No, and I'm kind of settling in the kind of look that I want. I enjoy my hair looking, matching my hair, or it can be a little bit lighter, but just a tip lighter not platinum um i don't i have i bought a wig that was platinum i to this day i haven't worn it um i showed that in the before video i, I haven't been able to make that work there's sometimes when you can make it work and there's times when you just can't um but i've settled in to know that if it's my hair color or a little bit lighter like this is my hair color um this is my hair color with a little touch of lightness in there. I'm good, you know? So you sort of settle in with, um, this is a little bit too, I don't like the dark. Like, as I mentioned, I tried to do a style with a dark, darker gray and it just didn't look like me, but I'm still not giving up on this. I'm gonna find a way to lighten her up somehow, whether I have to do it a different way or if I just gotta use when I'm going out with her, I just put this in, um, but I'm gonna try. But you know, when you're going through the process or when you're considering the process, know what it is that you prefer. Um, and you may not know right off the bat, you may not find out until you're in your transition period and you see what your hair, you know, the final color of your hair looks like because there are different shades of gray and everybody's gray comes in differently. There are people that do have that platinum gray type hair and I see it 
and I do want to finally get to that color. I can't wait until my hair gets to that color, but I can't, I just, I'm just not at the place where I can put that gray on me yet. I'd rather stick closer to my color with just little pops of that lighter here or there. I don't really want the darker with the gray. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really liking that look, especially if it, um, if it's a whole head covering with this, the only reason why I'm attempting this one is because it's a headband wig and I'm thinking I can finesse it how I want. But if it's a, if this was a full head wig like this, there's no way I'd have to send it back uh, if I could. I'm, right. Because then no, or it would just, I just chalk it up to a loss. Like I did with a lot of the things that I, that I've got along the way. So, you know, just take the time and, um, um, Figure out what you want your look to be. Um, see how your hair is coming in and see what you can do if you are that person that likes to um, complement your hair with hair pieces, weaves, braids, what have you. Just see, see how it is. See how your hair is coming in. See what your comfort level is. Maybe you like the platinum. Maybe you like the darker gray black mix. Um, maybe you just like the gray mix. Like... Um, like I have here, gray, just gray. It's gray silver, right? So it's understanding um, the different color palettes that they have. There's so much because this wig is actually a brown gray, right? It's a ground gray with platinum on the end. So because um, I previously had brown hair, I'm kind of like partial to this one and it's light enough. Whereas this one is black gray. Um, I've had black hair for I don't know how long. So it just seems a little bit more drawn and uh, not sure how I like it on my skin tone. So it's personal preference. So just showing you all of this just to just sort of show you what my process has been. I have the different... Um, hair pieces that I've used to achieve the different looks that I've had. I didn't want to just show you the pictures. I wanted to kind of show you the hair as I went along and um, to help you get a better understanding of it all. So that's it for me. Um, this was Amazon. Um, most of this hair, as I mentioned, was Amazon. The braids, uh, expression braids, I was found in my um, local hair store. I'm sure they're, they're online as well, too. I've seen them online. Um, and uh, this uh, free tress was my local hair store. The, those were common in my local hair store. So any hair, if I want a hairstyle uh, and I quickly needed to get gray and not wait online, I could go to my hair store and get this and that, that was helpful. Um, wish I could get this one back from my hair store, um, but still looking, still looking to find her, um, buy a couple packs of her and put down. Um, and that's it. Um, AliExpress is also a good resource, um, for um for hair um sorry because i believe this might have been ali i might be wrong but if i am wrong i'll, I'll correct it on the screen as i think i said amazon before but i think that may have come from ali Ooh, i'll correct it on the screen the the exact um place that i got that on um so that's it. I'm going to let you go. Uh, thank you for joining uh, my journey. Um, I love hearing your comments about your gray hair journey as well, too. Um, please put your comments below. Let's talk about this. Give me some ideas. Um, and we'll just take it one step, one journey at a time. Thanks for joining. Like, share, and subscribe.